Hey guys, what is up? So I've upgraded my camera and I'm using it right now in my room and it uh, looks pretty good from what I can tell right here. And uh, yeah, so in this video, we're just gonna go out and quickly test the camera in daylight when we go get some lunch. Let me know what you guys think. Um, this is with the kit lens that it comes with, the 16 to 50 millimeter power zoom f3.5. So yeah, you know, let me know what you guys think of the footage and if it's any good. I'll meet you guys at the end of the video to get some more conversation going. All right, everyone. So we're leaving Walmart right now, but this is just to show kind of what the ZV-E10 will look like during the day. Also how it sounds like with the onboard microphone in the car and also how it sounds like outside in a real world vlog setting. Um, just to showcase how that sounds like, what it looks like. Um, all my all my settings are on manual with shutter speed of 1 over 60 and auto ISO and I'm gonna try to keep the aperture at 3.5 um, But yeah, let's get started. We're going to go eat some lunch at the hub and get some grilled cheese and a foot-long corn dog Woo! Now it's at f9 Because uh, it's a uh, pretty bright out here. So it's f9 and uh, we're here at the hub. Time to get some food. Yep, and it's loud. There's still a lot of construction. And uh, we're right next to a highway. So, yeah, let's go. So here's the inside, and here's how the microphone sounds in this kind of place. So, yeah. Let's go over here and get some, get some food at the Crave. All right, so this is with F3 inside the building. They got some music going on. Um, it might look better if I increase. Maybe that looks better, I don't know. But uh, yeah, this is vlog style inside the building. All right, so now we're at F16 so that we can see our lemonade. Uh, we got dull lemonade here. I have to like remember to keep this like up because it's not such a wide view, but yeah, this is different filming from the DJI. But uh, yeah, so we ordered the footlong corn dog and the brisket grilled cheese. And the brisket grilled cheese comes with chips, so I'm excited. Yeah. All right, so this is with picture profile off, but this is you know inside the building. Oh god, I need to turn down the aperture, or turn up the aperture, because you were like, blinding white. <laughs> um, here we go, there we go. Aperture's at F8 now, on auto ISO, and then if I turn to you real quick. Yeah, this is with a 16 millimeter, 16 to 50 millimeter lens. Um, so the autofocus on this one, uh, turn, turn around. I need your face. Sorry. Let's see. Autofocus. Uh, it's decent. I don't know if I need to change any settings. Um, but yeah. I'm definitely going to change the lens on this. This is the kit lens. And it's alright. It's good for, you know, the zooms. The zoomies. But other than that, I don't like it. I don't need a wider field of view. Yeah. So I think I'm, I'm thinking of getting the 11 millimeter. So here she comes. Here she comes. I'm so excited for this brisket grilled cheese and for our corn dog. I got the goods. Mmm, the goodies. Hmm. This grilled cheese looks a little tiny, but that's okay, I guess. All right, what do you want to try first? Chip. Chippy chip. Ketchup. How is that? Mmm. Those are yummy. Oh my god. There you got like a seasoning on them. These are like freshly made chips. Mm. They're super like warm. Those are good. All right. All right. Grilled cheese. All right. Let's, yeah, I let's think do grilled cheese. Should, I, you should get the first bite. Oh, I wish we had barbecue sauce. Okay. Where do I begin? The edge or the middle? Mm, the edge. Oh, that 
cheese pull. Really good. It needs barbecue sauce. That's fair. All right, so we got our side of barbecue sauce. It's nice and warm. Haley's gonna try the footlong corn dog and put disgusting mustard on it. So disappointed. <laughs> Leave me alone. How's the footlong corn dog? It's everything I could have hoped in dream before. Everything? <laughs> The foil made it a bit soggy, so it doesn't have a nice crunch. It's kind of soft. So if it had a better crunch, it would be a solid 10 out of 10. I think because it's kind of mushy, 8 out of 10. Gotcha. All right, so uh, here's the outside area. Oh, look. They're, they've updated a lot on this pizza place. So this is going to be a pizza place right here. Ooh, that's cool. Pizza place. I think this is gonna be a coffee place. Yeah. They show off games and stuff. As well as have like events, like DJs. But yeah. Cool, cool, cool. There's the taco place that's opening up soon. Macho taco. No, I think they're getting ready to open though. Like any day now, it looks like. Oops. <laughs> I keep like pointing it down, <laughs> thinking they will get everything. It's not. <laughs> <laughs> I have to get used to that. Okay. All right, so this is me holding my arm all the way out. That's why I don't like this kit lens. I have to hold it so far from my arm. <laughs> so far from my face <laughs> and it like barely gets us in my hair is going crazy it's very windy yeah all right so yeah with the kit lens i'm really impressed uh with um the footage that i was able to get out of it uh, i'm impressed with the microphone the microphone's pretty freaking good you know i was still learning the basics of kind of messing around with the aperture um getting proper exposure and stuff like that but you know, I think that's what's fun. I did mess with one clip um, when I was talking about the pizza. I messed with that clip just a little bit uh, with Catalyst Brow, see if I could stabilize it. Uh, of course, I wasn't shooting in the proper shutter speed to use Catalyst Brows, um, but I've seen people get away with, uh, you know, a one over 60 for some clips, and it doesn't look too bad, but I think the preferred is one over 100, if not a little more. But yeah, so. Let me know what you guys think. The next video I have after this regarding the ZV-E10 will be an actual test scenario in different test cases um, for low light and daylight in an actual vlog setting. Uh, I'll be going to Austin and testing this camera out. So be sure to stay tuned for that video and uh, we'll see you in the next cozy experience. Uh, you know, thanks for sticking around and watching me upgrade my uh, camera setup and I hope you enjoy. Peace.